dismissed by naysayers, the national unity platform has defied the odds and stayed its course. Those who voted for it got ridiculed, but the party's appointed leader of opposition in parliament, Matthias Impuga, is contented that the six months spent in parliament has served to disprove the narrative. I think uh, we have tried to shape the agenda of that house because I have encouraged my members to dive in, get the issues, understand the issues, speak to the issues with depth and knowledge. The opposition is here to table a single bill. Generating a bill is a process. So we have lined up a number of bills, but we have been consulting because a bill is not like a statement. So perhaps in the first quarter of the year, we shall be able to, to publicly make available our first bill. Regardless of the performance, the opposition leadership believes in retooling of the MPs to sharpen the skills of delivery through a hatched idea of policy clusters as a way of improving debate in the House. In that parliament, you cannot be for everything. If you choose to be for everything, you, you leave that House without impacting on anything. So I have asked my members to, to come out and... Uh, uh, and uh, make choice of the areas of interest because we are going to spend the next six months trying to heal them and sharpen them on their areas of interest. And we have chosen 30 areas. Mpoga says they will be ready to tackle the proposed land amendment and that on bail removal for capital offences. He hails the development of the opposition legislative agenda encompassing 17-point direction on constitutional amendment, deepening of decentralization, reforms in the appointment of electoral commissioners, and constitutional clarification on the role of security personnel. Major, major output over the first six months was to have a plan of action, which we described as a legislative agenda, because... Uh, your output is as good as the plan, you have to execute it. Without a plan, you cannot talk about uh, output. It means you've chosen to be random. The lack of appreciation for the role of the opposition by the ruling party members of parliament is a major impediment, he points, on the delivery of parliamentary mandate. They have been uh, oriented to believe that the opposition is just uh, a group of people, one, they hate uh, their leader, General Museveni, they hate their party, and they've been made to believe that we even hate the country. The challenge coupled with the arrest of the party members, including MPs Muhammad Sejirinya and Makindia West MP Alan Sewanyana. We are now aligned before the criminal justice system. All we implore of that system is to give them a quick, fair and speedy trial. That's not coming through. There's nothing extra political we need to do, extra legal we need to do. We, if it is politics, we did that in parliament and laid bare their plight for all to know and see. So the, the rest of the explanation must be given by their jailers. They should be the one to explain why up to now they cannot prosecute them. Mpuga expressed unreadiness by the National Unity Platform to take part in iPod activities which it says lacks a binding legal locus, preferring to instead have inter-party dialogue through the National Consultative Forum. Jackson Onyango, NTV.